Hello ladies and gentlemen. Since I uh, hunted this weekend and I connected two times with uh, one wild boar and I think I did a pretty good job shooting, it's not that I am that great shot, it's that I was waiting for the good opportunity. And let me, let me explain to you how it works. So, this is the gold board and you'll see everything. So this is where the hunter is. This is where the thick thick cover is. This is where the wild boar is. So, this is one tree, this is the other tree, this is one tree, this is the other tree. This, and this, is safe zone for you to shoot. But this, is a comfortable zone for you to shoot. Why I need to, you to understand this. So if a wild boar comes out of thick cover and he stays here, between these trees, it's okay for me to shoot because it's safe, but it's not comfortable because maybe the gap between these two trees is only two meters high. Wild boar, when running full speed, it covers two meters a very small amount of time. So it would not, it will not give me enough time because it doesn't have enough room for me to a, get the rifle in, zero it, point at direction I want to shoot, find the target, and then. Uh, follow wild boar and shoot and then connect. But here, between this tree and this tree, this is maybe 10 meters. So this, this is 10 meters. 10 meters. So th here I have enough place, enough spot to shoot. Also, this is safe. So safe, this is safe, but this is comfortable. So see, this is comfortable. So safe, safe, comfortable. Why I'm t drawing you this. So to know, once you get on the peg, find out place where it's safe for you to shoot. Oh, I'm gonna shoot it here, I'm gonna shoot it here, I'm gonna shoot it here. This is not safe, this is not safe. But after you find safe spots, you find comfortable spots. Comfortable spots are spots where you have enough time, enough space, enough everything that suits you that allows you to be aggressive and it allows you to be comfortable once you're allow, uh, allow allowed to be aggressive and comfortable and there's enough space there's <clears throat> more chances of you connecting so once you're here you see the wild boar it is there or where you're, you're um, safe but you're not comfortable you're not raising gun to shooting that direction because you're, you're going to waste that bullet in vain by the time you reload, maybe wild boar will cover more than half a distance on the place where you're uh, not only safe, but also comfortable to shoot. And then, then you will not seize that opportunity. And then you'll shoot him again in the other opportunity where you're only safe, not comfortable. That means you will be shooting a lot, not connecting. And what is your goal? Not only to shoot, but to connect. So number one, if the animals are here, First, you need to see them. If they're here, you, you spot them. This is safe. This is safe. But you shoot them when they're, once they're here. Safe when you're safe and comfortable to shoot. So, get get your priorities straight on the stand. Your goal is first to be the fortunate to, to see the wild boar, then to be able to shoot at them, then to be able to connect and hopefully bring them down. So, like I said, find. On the, on the peg, when where you're safe to shoot and where you're comfortable to shoot, when those two overlap, that's where you shoot. But comfortable to shoot means that you have enough time and you will get enough time if that gap for wild boar is big enough to cover. If it's like three or four meters as wide as the road, it's not enough time. We're not, we're not uh, shooters like in Wild Wild West, we're not, we're just hunters. And we're not using handguns, we're using rifles. So we need we need more more time and more, uh, Wild War needs to cover more ground <clears throat> for us to, to be able to perform. So that's that's how I that's how I do it. And then, because at if the end of the day, if you see a lot of boar, that's good. If you shoot plenty of bullets, that's kind of sort of also good. But if you don't connect, you, do, you don't bring anything to the, to the end of the, 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 the drive or the day, and all the friends will ask you, how many wild boar did you get? Uh, one, uh, none. Oh, it was a crappy hunt. Yeah, but you saw 10 and you fired 17 shots, you didn't get one. So rather, if you get five boar, no one will ask you how many shots did you fire. 
No one. No one cares. You get five, you're good. But if you get in, 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 you didn't get any, and they people know how driven wild boar works, they'll ask you how many shots did you fire. Some people sometimes people not honest. They don't tell you how many shots did you fire. Or if you say, "Oh, I only fired two shots," then they ask you how many wild boar did you see. Maybe you saw twenty, but you didn't have good peg or good opportunity to shoot at them. So to have a good thing, good hunt, everything, everything has to come together, and then then you'll be happy hunter. Uh, hope, hopefully I made a few things clear and uh, see you next time. Cheers. Bye.